Hook makes it easier to write well-informed documents. When you're creating a knowledge-intense document, be it a, a report, blog post, memo, presentation or screencast, you typically need to create and consult many resources. You might need an outline, a writing plan. There will be some source documents for sure, like web pages, PDFs, image files, perhaps even emails. And whilst it would be good to have all of this in the same folder within Finder, it's not always practical to do that, certainly with web pages when you need to complete research on them. That's where Hook can be your best friend. It will gather together all of those resources for you to access with the click of a button. So here I'm planning a book on productivity and there is a lot of information that I need that won't all go in a Finder folder. So first of all, I need an outline. So I'm gonna open on the outliner from the dock. And here is my very rough outline. I'm going to invoke Hook from the menu bar icon up here. I could of course just use my keyboard shortcut to activate it. And from here, I'll click on the title menu and select copy link. Now this puts the link to my outline on my Mac's clipboard, ready to hook or attach it to other files. Now I'll just minimize that and let's bring up Safari because I would like to hook this outline to some websites. Now I've got three here. One is for Think Productive, who I work with as a productivity coach in the UK. I'm gonna invoke hook this time by the keyboard shortcut. I'll click on the title menu and this time I'm gonna hook this web page to the copied link, which is my outline. And this creates a two-way bi-directional link between both sources. Now I'm gonna repeat this with the other two pages that I have here. So Max Sparky's website, I'll bring up hook and command V to paste the copied link. And now of course to hook's site, I'll bring up the hook window and command V to paste. Now if I switch across to Omni Outliner again and bring up the hook window, we have a direct connection to those three web pages. I can access them from this menu. Okay, let's add another source that we're gonna to need to write the book. We need the text editor itself. So because Drafts is compatible with Hook, I'm going to use that. So I'll open. And here is the first piece of text. I'm gonna select the draft on the left here, then invoke Hook, and I'll press Command V once more. And that's pasted now, let's just check. I'll bring up hook, and sure enough, as this is a two-way link, not just from the outline to the draft, but the other way as well, I can press enter here and be taken back to the outline. Okay, let's get rid of some of these windows here. And I'm gonna bring up airmail because you may very well have research or communications that have come in via email that you need to refer to in order to complete your long form writing. Now you could, print and save these as PDFs in your Finder folder, but it's much easier to simply invoke Hook, paste in the copied link, and we can see that if I open Hook once more and press Enter on the outline, I'm taken to it. And if I invoke Hook now on the outline itself, well, the email's there, alongside all of the other resources that we have available. There's no requirement to switch between applications, to do any searching, which all takes time, and that time is better spent well, writing. Now, if you're writing blog posts as well, Hook can save you a lot of time. I've got the start of a post here and I wanna put in three links to websites. Now, thanks to the magic of Markdown and Hook, we can do this quickly and easily. I'll open Safari, I'll bring up Hook, and this time I'm gonna open the title menu and select Copy Markdown Link. Now, I'll switch across to Drafts and paste it in and the link is dropped in, in Markdown format, ready to go. So if you use Hook for your writing projects, it can really help you for those important elements, namely organizing your research and writing.